All right, men, after yesterday's catastrophic failure and my losing entire faith in humanity, it's time you guys got back to training. Because obviously you need it, maggots. I mean, we were surprised. I don't really think it's necessary, sorry. Did you just talk back to me, Sev? Yeah, I did, actually. Drop and give me 20,000! <sighs> yeah, one, two, three, four hundred, two thousand. 10,000, 20,000. There you go, sir, 20,000. What the hell was that? Where did you learn how to count, boy? All that alone time in my box because we don't go to school. Now you got a point. All right, since you can't count beyond four. I don't know. Can you really not count beyond four? Of course I can, boy. All right, generic troopers whose names are pretty generic still. Uh, Sev isn't generic. But Jack is. That's not my name. What? But that's what Ignaka called you. And you were fine with that, and that's what I called you yesterday. Yeah, because I was expecting my commanding officer to figure it out eventually. Ugh. Then what is your name, boy? It's Lieutenant Cole, sir. I would have expected you to remember that. There's only three of us. Listen, Lieutenant. That's three more names I gotta remember. Johnson, Sev, and Cole. How am I supposed to be expected to remember freak names like that? So what are we gonna do, sir? Good question, Johnson. <laughs> Thanks to Johnson's protocol expertise, I have recently realized that I outrank Tren. And because of this realization, we are going to raid Tren's Bow Rock boot camp. Do I make myself clear? But they're on our team. It is called friendly competition, maggot. Do I make myself clear? So basically, we're going to be doing a frat prank on the Bow Rock. If that's what you want to label it, you millennial. Eh, I mean, can't be that bad. They are just a bunch of little pipsqueaks, after all. But they're on our team! I understand that they are on our team, Sev. You already said that. But I already said that we're gonna do it anyway. Because it makes good training. And because I freaking said so! Now get moving, maggots! Move, move, move! Oh, wait a sec, Sarge. What is it? So, you said we're gonna rate their boot camp, right? Did I stutter? No, but where is their boot camp? Right, well, their boot camp takes place here, on the desk. See, whenever we're finished with the desk, that's when Trent brings his people up here and he works with them. For some reason, Lord Vader and Matanui see it best that uh, our training is kept out of the civilian area, which is the floor. Which is the floor, correct. You get a cookie, just kidding. So we gotta leave for them to come here? Correct, we're going to leave, scout out the area, and wait for them to set up. After they've been doing their thing for a little while, that is when we will strike. Move it, move it, let's go! I don't know, I just don't know. What are you freaking out about this time? I don't know how to feel about this whole government thing. Taking this room from the G2 sets, it feels wrong. You're not thinking about joining Thox Resistance, are you? Thox too loud for me. His method of smash and win... That doesn't work. That'll never get us anywhere. But you are thinking about resisting. If Matanui won't listen to reason, then yeah, it's crossed my mind. I don't know what else to say. Matanui's obsessed with becoming a set, but that's never gonna happen. If he had his way, he'd sacrifice everyone in this entire room to get what he wanted. He doesn't care about us. Have you noticed that he just holes up in that little corner of his? The only person who can talk to him is Darth Vader. 
That's how this system is run. <laughs> a system that's run on racism. <sighs> a confusing system that was set up in like two days. Yeah, that's not a system I want to be part of. Whether I get tossed aside in the end or not, I can't stand by and let Mata Nui do something like this. Careful who you talk to about this, Tahu. I can trust you. Right, Gully? Of course. Good. I'll see you later. Thanks for the talk. What are we gonna do about him? I'll have to report him. Humata is someone that all the G1 sets look up to and respect. If he goes starting some rebellion, all the civilians will follow. Yeah, you're right. Nuva's gonna love this. <sighs> Great. All right, friend, here's the problem. To find Alec, we've gotta pass through the civilian zone. And if you can tell by the name, that's where everyone passes through. Huh. And seeing as you're a wanted man, it's gonna be a little bit harder than you might expect. Wait, are you telling me you're not wanted? <laughs> as wanted as a G1 set can be. That is so racist. Why do you think I fight? So what's the plan? Uh, there is no plan yet. Actually, Zach Tan. Yes, boss? Take Raydak and get one of the gold boxes. Why? First off, you don't question me. Second, we might be able to smuggle Kasai in it. Okay. Yeah! Here's Buck. Let's move. Come on. Good day, Toagali. Cheers, love. Uh, Toagali? What? Well, two of the Paraka are right there. We don't have time to deal with rebels right now. What about the G2 set? Not right now. <laughs> really determined to mess with Taku Mata. <sighs> I gotta do training anyway. Golly! What? I gotta train the Borak. I'll follow these two until they get to the hive. Fine. Do whatever you want. Stupid drone. <sighs> Good day, protector of this area. I would like to pass. Go ahead. Thank you. Just act natural. Wait a minute. Weren't you two involved in the attack earlier yesterday? Why, of course not. All hail Matanui and all that. Meh, you're good. Stop them. Huh? Look, I'm not a G2 set. Can I just pass? Yeah, you're right. Death to G2. Death to G2, indeed. <laughs> hey, I said stop them. Listen here, you CCBS mock. I don't care what your job is or what your rank is. You don't tell me what to do. <sighs> Can I pass? No! But death to G2. Frick you. <sighs> don't even try it. Let's see. What can I find in the lost and found today? Yeah. That was fun. Let's try that again. What are you doing here, Tahu? Making sure no one takes the gold boxes for your little experiment. You guys should really tell Thok that he needs to, uh, take better care of his stuff, am I right? Listen, we need to transport pieces to Elix's place. Can we just use it? Yeah, you can transfer those G2 pieces. Go ahead. I'm not stupid. Get the box. Let's see if this will work. Yeah, perfect. 
He's my Bullrock. No, he's my Bullrock. He's my Bullrock. He's my Bullrock. This is stupid. I don't even know what's happening anymore. Yeah, look at those buffoons over there. Buffoon! <laughs> Buffoon no mutata. Trent, he says something very stupid. Yeah, that's what I hear from all of you all the time, every day. Well, if I was being honest, then I would say your face looks like a your face no mother could love. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Man, I love blue team. They're so cool. No, you don't. But, uh, yes, I do. Why did I get stuck with the idiots? With the idiots. Don't blame me. Blame my lack of Krana. My Krana is the only smart thing about me. Because I have, I think I literally have brain damage from the brain lack thereof. The Krana is your brain. Hey, you have a brain. <laughs> Look at that guy over there, he's just sitting down. Look at him, how stupid. I wanna cry now. <laughs> oh, I wanna die. Now, for form seven of the attack positions, you must stand like this, ready for battle. Why, why are we gonna battle? Who's gonna fight us? Why would someone fight us? Why would? Why are we gonna attack somebody? Ah! I have no soul. I don't wanna fight. I'm not ready. No, no. Who's the best team? Red team! Why are we the best? Because we're red! Uh, who's the worst team? Brown team. I think we're a good team. I mean, we're brown. Because brown sets don't sell well. That's why they started making them orange. That's sad. Zoom in. That's really sad. Yes. Uh, yes, it is. Goodbye, cruel world. That's a good idea. Frick me, I don't have a chrono to kill myself with. Oh, well, it's worth a shot anyway. <gasps> you, here, you can have my chrono spewing nonsense. Thank you, but no thank you. Or you see, you're terrible, which means your Krana is terrible. Gimp. This is the most dysfunctional army I have ever seen. For once, Cole, you say something I understand. And I completely agree. Now what? We attack! I thought this was just supposed to be a prank. Move out! We're gonna die! Enough with your sarcasm or move out! <laughs> Ready! Aim! And... What the hell is the meaning of this? Why, Trent, my friend. We're just giving you a little surprise visit for your recruits. Call it a training exercise. Fire! Come on then, boys. Let's go. What the hell did I tell you, Sarge? Hold the line! I'll be right back. Fire! Alright, Kasai. Please keep your hands and feet inside the cart at all times. I don't know how I feel about this. It'll be fine. Have you guys ever smuggled a person before? Well, there was this one guy. <sighs> Good night, princess. All right. Right, let's move forward. Uh, we should fix that pretty quickly. Hi, turtle. I'm starting to think you guys don't know what you're doing. Don't you trust us? Not with friggin' Satan eyes, no. Everyone just keep calm and keep it down. Hmm, this is quite a poor selection you have here. You should rename it to the Canister Lid Store. Hmm. 
It does not seem that any of these would make a proper vessel. It has been a waste of my time. If we came all the way here and you're not even going to buy anything, I will buy what I need, not what I feel like. You kind of just wasted Alex's time. I will not buy something out of pity for some G1 set. <sighs> Well, they were jerks. Do not bother wasting your time here. His selection is pathetic. Good day, Baraka. Hmm. <sighs> 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 Ah, Thok, my favorite and only customer. <laughs> Maybe because I'm the only one who can tolerate your stupid deals. Given time, two generations can't unite. Okay, what do you want? My friend here. Oh man, that thing sucked. He needs to speak to the last G2 set I had you smuggle. Ah, so he's the wanted man. <laughs> That's me, wanted in my own room. Yes, I can get him there. Good. The boys and me have another full-scale attack planned. Kasai's gonna have to take his own way. What are you gonna attack now? The Nuva. Get him out of the room and take him to the last one. Understood. Good luck, Kasai. I hope to see you again soon. Let's go, boys. We've got preparations to make. I hope that mad fool doesn't get himself killed. Oh, trust me. He will. Hold on one moment, these bastard squids. There we go. So, how are we getting me out of here? You're going to get in Redax, Canister. Huh. Funny. Alright. Alright, let's go. Here we go. Hold the line! Sarge has royally screwed us! Take this. Wait, Gurok, stop! What? Two things. One, why isn't Trent doing anything? And two, I'll launch my Krana at him, and if he gets on his face, he'll be distracted, so that's when you throw your spear. They're not Mata. And Trent isn't helping because we have to prove ourselves. Ah! Get this crap off me. Call! Alright, that's it. Alright, you filthy clone sets. I'll show you what it means to be a member of the First Order. Ow. What the... What happened? Ugh. Isn't that that shopkeeper? I wonder where he's going. Oh my! He's always been the suspicious type. Who's there? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Just a death trooper here for routine inspection. Why don't you lower your weapon there? Okay. Sorry, thought you were a bandit. Right, because we live in medieval times and bandits are still a thing. What are you doing out here? It's past curfew. That's not true. It's about three minutes away. 7.57 is close enough to 8 o'clock to be past curfew. Are you questioning a death trooper? No, sir. Sorry. Fine. I'll be nice. 
Even though it isn't past curfew, still pretty close. Shouldn't be out here right now. Sorry, just a little on edge. I just fell off the desk. Is everything okay up there? Ah, <laughs> our Sarge wanted us to uh, mess with the bow rock during their training. Let's say uh, he bailed and uh, it's not going out too well. I see. Yeah. Now then, let's see what we have here. It's obviously a canister of some sort. Shipping something? Sorry, I had a sudden order of parts and I'm delivering them out right now. Curl up and throw your armor shells on top of you. Curl up and throw your armor shells on top of you. Oh, what have we here? A bunch of CCBS pieces, huh? Funny enough, they're in red and silver. Uh, uh, sorry about that. They're pieces to touch up a, I think, a Captain Phasma mock. Hmm. Not so many red shells, then. The red shells are to add to the color of red on the end of the cape. Shells on a cape. No, adding more red into the mock. Okay. Alright, move along. Thank you, and sorry for the trouble, sir. Mm-hmm. I'm on to you. <laughs> Don't you worry no more. Macho Papa Sarjo has returned. Who wants some free frickin' death laser? Ugh, <laughs> oh, damn it. I only grabbed one power cell. <laughs> yeah, we can talk about this, right? Take him down. I outrank you. You will order these men to stand down. What is the meaning of this? That's more like it. Uh, Master Kylo Ren. Do you care to explain, Tren? Uh, well, you see, sir. Uh, Sarge, he... I have no interest in your excuses. Yes, of course, sir. It was a training exercise. A training exercise led to a stormtrooper and a bow rock being flung over the edge. Is that so? Yeah, it's just fun competition, sir. You're supposed to be training your soldier, not playing games with them. Do I make myself clear? Crystal, sir. And Sergeant. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Be more careful with your actions. At ease, men. Toa Nuva. Oh, Galimata. What brings you up here to the palace of the Nuva? Nuva. Yeah, what you want? I bring news about Tahumata. Who cares about Tahumata? He's an overrated set anyway. <sighs> Brooding. What's this news about Mata I hear? You see, Tahumata is having doubts about our government. He doubts our system? Who gives him that authority? I'm afraid himself. My Toa. He thinks he's cool enough to follow our rules? How dare he. <laughs> this is exactly what I've been waiting for. A chance to prove once and for all I am the better Toa. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Shut up, Toa Shrek. I am not Toa Shrek, for God's sake. Well, you look like it with that ugly mask. There is nothing wrong with my freaking mask. It's freaking beautiful. Toa Shrek. Toa Shrek. 
Tawa Shrek. Tawa Shrek. Tawa Shrek. Maybe we were a little harsh on the guy. No, he deserved it. Brooding. Huh, I'll go get him. Mata, take me to Tahu, Mata. Alright, I'll be honest, you're not that ugly. You're just really ugly. Ugh, especially without the mask. Alrighty, come on, Shrek. Let's do this. 